Hello there! My name is Shelly and in this video we will write an AJAX call using jQuery and MVC to call a controller action and return a JSON result. This method is used by developers worldwide to execute server-side actions without a page postback or reload. Some use cases for this method include searching, filtering, and sending email which are all common features of any website. First, let's talk about AJAX. AJAX stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML, and it is used to post and get data in the background and display it on a web page without having to reload the whole page. Some examples of applications that use AJAX include Gmail, Google Maps, Hangouts, YouTube, and Facebook. jQuery is a JavaScript library that provides several methods for AJAX functionality. It contains the most popular AJAX methods that are cross-browser compatible. If you were writing AJAX code using straight JavaScript, you would have to write extra code for different browsers, but luckily, using jQuery AJAX methods, you can write one line of code that is already cross-browser compatible. With the jQuery AJAX methods, you can request text, HTML, XML, or JSON from a remote server using both HTTP GET and HTTP POST. HTTP GET is used to request data, and HTTP POST submits data. In this lesson, we will use HTTP GET with a JSON result. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, and it is a syntax for storing and exchanging data. It is a very popular text format that is used as an alternative to XML. JSON data in its simplest form is written as name-value pairs. You can also have more complex JSON objects with multiple name-value pairs, or a JSON array containing multiple objects. Here I have a simple demo page already set up with a populate result button that fires a JavaScript function when it is clicked. In the populate result function, we want to fire an AJAX method that will return a JSON result and add it to our paragraph tag with the ID result. To start, the syntax for a jQuery AJAX call is $.ajax with an open parenthesis and curly brace. Then we set the URL for the AJAX call, this URL does not exist yet, we will create it next, and create a function that will be fired when the AJAX call is successful. The JSON result will then output to the result paragraph tag using the jQuery HTML method. Now that we have that set up, let's talk about how we will use MVC routing to fire the controller action using the URL we specified in our AJAX call. In the App Start folder of your Visual Studio solution, you will find Route Config CS. This class contains a method called Register Routes that sets the URL mapping for your MVC controllers and actions. In this lesson, we will use the default route with the URL from our AJAX call slash home slash send result. This will fire the send result action in the home controller. Before we create the send result action, let's take a minute to discuss sending a JSON result from an MVC action to a success function in a jQuery AJAX call. JSON result is an action result type in MVC. Since we are sending data from the server back to the client using HTTP GET, we need to set the JSON request behavior property to allow GET. When you send data in JSON format using a GET request, it is necessary to specify allow GET, otherwise it shows the error, the request would be blocked since the JSON data is considered as sensitive data information. Okay, now that we know what we need to do, let's go ahead and set up our send result action in the home controller. In the home controller, let's create our action public JSON result send result. All we are going to do in this action is return a JSON string using the JSON method and specifying JSON request behavior allow get. That's all we need to do. Wasn't that simple? Let's debug and test out our page. Before you click the populate result button, 
right click and select inspect to open the developer tools in Chrome. Click the network tab so that we can watch the Ajax call and view the response. Click the populate result button. Now you can see that the JSON string has been added to the result paragraph tag and in the network tab, the send result action has a status code of 200, which means that the request was successful. If you click on the send result link, you can also view the raw JSON data, which is helpful for troubleshooting. Now let's go one step further, and instead of returning a simple JSON string from our controller, let's return a list of strings instead. In our send result controller action, create a new list and add a few items to it. This will output to a JSON name value pair with the name equal to the list index and the value equal to the strings we have added here. And don't forget to add the using statement for the list type, which is system collections generic. Let's debug again and use the Chrome developer tools to view the Ajax request and JSON response. As you can see, we now have the JSON response structured as name value pairs with the index beginning at zero. Next, we will change the output to display both the name and the value in an unordered list. In the success function of our Ajax call, we want to build a formatted HTML string, including the names and values from the JSON result. First, we need to create a simple variable with an unordered list tag. Next, we will use the jQuery each function to iterate through all of the list items in our JSON result. In the loop, we are adding a line item containing the index, which is equal to the name and the name value pair, and value, which of course is equal to the value in the name value pair. And then we need to close our unordered list tag and output our HTML string to the result paragraph. Let's debug again and view the new output. This looks much better. In the real world, chances are you will work with JSON name value pairs versus simple strings, and now you know how to work with the JSON result as well as troubleshoot any errors. In this lesson, we defined Ajax and JSON and used jQuery and MVC to fire a controller action returning a simple JSON string result as well as name value pairs. We also talked about MVC routing, the JSON result type, JSON request behavior property, and working with the JSON result using jQuery. Now you know how to send data from the client to server and vice versa in the background without having to reload the page.